Hello everyone, today I thought we might do something a little bit different. Thought it might be fun to just try to do a quick Ruby on Rails speed run. So the plan for this is we're just going to run a 15 minute timer and I'm gonna see if I can get done in under 15 minutes. I'm feeling pretty confident, we'll see how this goes. Uh, don't look at the video timer, otherwise this will probably be a spoiler. Uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna click play and I'm gonna run a Rails new video. Uh, dash dash CSS bootstrap dash J ES build dash D Postgres QL. Uh, so basic idea is we're going to be creating a blog, uh, kind of obvious. That's like the go to, but we're going to make it a bit more advanced than the usual one. So we're going to try and add action text for a rich text body where you can upload images. We're going to use active storage for a thumbnail for each blog post. We're going to use device for user authentication, give each user a role. Uh, and then we'll um, also use simple form to cheat with some bootstrap styling on the device views. Now I do apologize if I cough a bit throughout this or if my voice sounds weird, I am still recovering from COVID um, and it's not going great. <laughs> CD video and code dot. All right, so let's get started so I can just go ahead and edit this and upload this. Um, so the basic idea is gonna be that we need to do a whole bunch of migrations. First things first, bundle, add, devise, and simple form. That'll add our two gems. And then we'll start doing the installation commands. Oh, I managed to mute myself before that cough. Okay, so we'll do a Rails G devise user, or devise colon install command. Oh, we wanna do simple form first. Rails G simple underscore form colon install dash dash bootstrap. I don't know if we need to do this first, but it's probably the best way to do this. Next, let's do a Rails G devise colon install command. And then we'll do a Rails G device user command. Next, we'll do a Rails uh, G uh, controller pages home. And then we can do a Rails action underscore text colon install. Uh, and then after we do that, we need to do our uh, roles. So we'll say Rails G migration, add role to user, role colon integer. Um, and then we want to do a Rails G scaffold post title uh, views colon integer user colon be oops user colon belongs underscore two. There we go. Okay. Next we can uh, go ahead and run a Rails DB colon migrate command. Ooh, okay, uh, users already exist, so we have to do a Rails DB colon drop, or maybe, yeah, let's just do a drop, it's safer. And then we'll do a Rails DB colon create, and then we can do our migrations, Rails DB colon migrate. Let's come into our seed file real quick, and we'll do a user dot create, uh, create exclamation mark. Let me use some GitHub Copilot here to cheat. Say email needs to be dean at example.com, comma. And then hopefully we can get the password and the password confirmation out of this. And the roles will just be, uh, we'll just make this a basic one. We'll say this will be a zero or a one for the role. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll then come into our models user, give this an enum. So we'll say this has a enum of role for the user and admin. Well, you know, the cough really holding me back today. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a Rails DB colon seed command and just see if that works. Uh, and it looks like name is undefined here. So this tried to use name for something. We don't, why is it trying to make him Dean Winchester? Oh my God, this is no time for supernatural, uh, I don't know, GitHub uh, co-piloting. All right, let's do a post, uh, or this uh, has many uh, posts, and this will be dependent, colon, colon, destroy. Next, let's come into the post. This will has one uh, attached thumbnail, uh, thumbnail, and it will then have uh, many, uh, no, it, it'll have, has one attached, and it'll has rich, text, and we'll say this is for the body. We'll then come into the post controller and we'll just change this to be the body and this one will be the thumbnail. Jesus, okay. 
we can come in here and we can say at post dot user equals uh, current underscore user. And then we'll come up here and we'll say before underscore action, uh, authenticate user except for the index and the show that works. And then in the show, we'll then say at post uh, dot, what is it dot increment at dot increment view count, uh, or I guess dot increment view is probably what we want to do. Maybe I don't know. Um, and then what we can do is we're going to have to actually do some uh, some styling on our uh, form here. So this has a view that's fine. We need to come into our assets, our style sheets, our application dot scss. And in here, what we need to do is a tricks dash editor uh, dot form dash control because we need to give this some styling. It needs a min height of sure 200 pixels, but most importantly, it needs a height of auto that will cause it to be styled properly. I'm going to go ahead and close all of this. Next thing is to come into our views, our posts, and our post form because we need to change this. The views here doesn't need to be here. This can be a thumbnail instead. And this association can be an input for the body, but it needs to be as rich text area. So we can save that. I'm going to type localhost port 3000, run a bin slash dev real quick. Uh, and then come into my routes.rb. Come up here and I'll say this has a root to the pages controller home action. And I'll go ahead and save that. We'll refresh and that should take us here. I'm going to go over to the posts home page uh, or the home page. I'm going to say this is the blog. And you will just say, I don't know, read more link to here, uh, post path, and then we'll come down here and we'll say post dot last, uh, three dot each do post. And then we'll do something like a dot, uh, or no, we'll just do a, a render of the, uh, I don't know, render of the post. Sure. And we'll end that. We won't make a partial for this. We'll save that. We'll come into the post itself. Let's refresh, make sure this is working. Read more new post. That works. But uh, we're not uh, generating our device views. So I'm going to stop this. Rails g device colon views command. And then bin slash dev again. That will allow us to have a proper login logout page. Let's come into device sessions new. And in here, what we're going to do is we're going to make this a data. And then this needs to be turbo colon false. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this into a couple other locations, registrations, edit, and update this one uh, after the update, sorry. And then the new is going to be the same thing. Come in here, dean at example.com with a password of password. Stop the server, rails db colon seed. I don't know if I did that already. Bin slash dev, it already did it. Okay, I'm going to log in. We're going to try to log in real quick. There we go. Hello world. Eight minutes, not bad. And then we're going to say test case. I'm going to go over to Unsplash, try to find a hello world image. I'm just going to pick one that I find here, download it. That works. I'm going to hit OK. And then that's not going to work as Brave is acting up today. So I'm just going to grab one of these. I'll grab the, the um, PHP one. I'll click create. And it can't increment the view because we probably called it something else. Uh, at post, at post has views, not view, post controller, increment views, save that, and then refresh. Uh, and did that create it? I can't tell. Looks like it might have. So let's come to the home page. It did create something. There we go. <coughs> Jeez. Uh, I'm going to come into the post uh, partial. And in here, we're going to change this a bit. Post is going to have a H2 for the post uh, title and we'll say dot titleize and then we'll just close this well it'll then have a uh it'll have the post body and it will have a link to uh, not a link to read more this will be a link yeah let's leave it like this actually a link to read more uh this doesn't need to be the post body then this should instead be a link to a image tag for the post dot thumbnail with a width of 300 uh, and then this will be um, to the post and this will be um, uh, uh, if 
post dot thumbnail dot attached question mark. There we go. Uh, oops, I'm going to bump down the, the font size here. So that should work for that. Uh, but we don't want this on the index page. On the index page, we uh, want this to render a different partial, new file. And we'll say this is for the, uh, actually for the index page, it's fine, but not for the show page. Show underscore post dot HTML dot ERB. And then we'll come into the show page. Instead of rendering post, we're going to render uh, post slash show underscore post. And then we'll pass in uh, a post of at post. Save that, refresh, go click on read more. And now it's taking us into show post. We're going to grab this, go into show post, and we're going to change this to be 750. This will be a back button back to the post path instead. Post path. Uh, and then instead of that, we'll say this needs to be the post.body. Save that. Come in here, refresh. We now have the the full title. Let me click edit on this and I'm going to try to upload an image in here. I'll upload this one, sure, and I'll click update post. There we go. We do have our full body there. That works. Let's come back to the home page real quick. This is rendering the right thing as well. Last thing I want to do, read more. Uh, so when we go to the actual post, I want to hide these. Let's go into the show page and in here I'm going to do a if current underscore user and dot is underscore admin question mark. Then I want to do this else. I want to do this, uh, uh, but we don't need that. We can just make this an end. Might, might as well keep it efficient. We'll move this down, move this up. I'm using all and the arrow keys for that, by the way. And then I'll come in here uh, and we'll say current underscore user dot is underscore admin question mark. Why is that not working? dot admin uh, yes dot admin I guess is the way we'll do this I can never remember what these commands are so that should work uh, let me grab this open up incognito make sure that this isn't erroring out here it's not everything seems to be working all right and we did that with about three minutes to spare so again there, this really isn't like a super scientific study or anything I'm actually not too hot right now, but that's fine. I just wanted to see what we could get done because uh, one of the things we always like to talk about is the productivity of Rails. I feel like this is a pretty good way to showcase that you can in fact get a lot done <coughs> uh, with very little time. But that's gonna do it for me. I need to go cough for a few hours. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.